That's it! Protesters in Myanmar filled the streets on Tuesday, despite a military ban on gatherings, curfews and closed roads. It was the fourth day of protests against last week's military coup. In the capital, Naypyidaw, police fired gunshots in the air to disperse the crowd, witnesses said. Media later reported police fired rubber bullets and a doctor said at least three were hurt. Earlier, they had used a water cannon for the second day in a row on protesters. There were also more than two dozen arrests in the second largest city, Mandalay, by the afternoon, including one journalist, according to local media reports. In the largest city, Yangon, people clapped and held a three-finger salute of resistance only metres away from police barricades. Locals said bridges connecting to central Yangon were shut early, reviving memories of what life was like under half a century of military rule that lasted until 2015. In the crowd, Kin Monso said the protests were a fight for their future. Before the military coup, every day was a fresh morning in our country, motivated and livable. After the coup, it's turned into a mess. Last night, Senior General Min Ong Lai, now leader of the military junta, spoke on state TV for the first time since they seized control. He focused on justifying their takeover on the grounds of election fraud, claims that have been rejected by the Election Commission. He said they would form a, quote, true and disciplined democracy, different to previous eras of military rule. He added that any lawless wrongdoers should be prevented or removed. The military has promised a new vote, but given no time frame, only that a state of emergency will last for one year.